I was carrying a guitar around and singing everything I could get my hands on. I, I always had a very open-minded approach to music because to me it's all one thing, you know. It didn't contain within little boxes. <laughs> Barbara Dane burst onto the scene in the late 1950s, Playboy magazine's jazz critic Leonard Feather called her Bessie Smith in stereo, and Time magazine described her voice as pure, rich, rare as a 20-carat diamond. Won't you come along with me And that Mississippi Across the ideological spectrum of black America, they recognize themselves and your voice. I think that is a profound contribution to not only the arts, but, but, but to humanity. During her more than half century in music, Barbara Dane has performed with an unbelievably diverse range of music greats. Blues legends, Lightning Hopkins, the Chambers Brothers, Memphis Slim and Willie Dixon. Jazz greats like Earl Hines, Jack Teagarden, and Louis Armstrong. Barbara Dane has been a nightclub owner, social activist, record producer, and hellraiser at large. When the union's inspiration through the workers' blood shall run, there can be no power greater anywhere beneath the sun. All her life, Dane has been deeply involved in social activism, fighting racism in the 40s and 50s, in the 60s, singing at demonstrations against nuclear power and at protests against the Vietnam War. Why would I want to stand up in front of a bunch of people singing something that I don't even care about the words to, shaking them maracas, you know, wearing a low country, when I could be out here changing the world with these other people? <laughs> Over in the Congress I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, oh, in the Congress, I'm gonna let it shine. In the Congress, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Yeah, let it shine. I think there's a power in music that unites people beyond their willpower, even. You can take a room full of people and make them feel their kinship in a way that nothing else can with the song.